Hello my friends and soul family, welcome to Artists of Life, a channel for me to be myself and thrive in an environment where I can be myself and talk in a British accent and where all of you guys can do the same. Even if you want to talk in a British accent, that's cool too. We can all pretend to be British together, unless you're already British, then in that case, then even, even better. I apologize that I had to take down my most recent vlog where I was talking about the reality TV show. I had to take it down because of reasons, but I will post it back up again. And I was really sad too, because that was one of the one of my favorite vlogs that I've ever created. It was really fun to make that one. Continuing on, today I have to go to Zoologic uh, Dance Studio and work more on the hoverboard choreography piece. I'm doing a gig tomorrow with Dragon Talent Corporate and just gonna be working on the show with other dancers. Paris tip of the day, my social media, my presence on social media, or at least my environment on social media, it's created very specifically to inspire me whenever I look at my feed. I don't follow anyone that doesn't really inspire me. I follow the people that continue to excite me. Excite me at exploring more dancing, excite me at exploring more parkour free running, exploring movement, exploring life, exploring consciousness, all that stuff. These are the people that I always surround myself with in my experience in the physical and also in my experience in the digital. <laughs> and my experience in the non-physical, but these guys are Keone and Mari Madrid. They're amazing. Uh, that's Yesenia. I met her at a WFPF competition. This is Callum from Store. If you guys like parkour free running, I highly recommend watching the documentary Roof Culture Asia. It does a lot in terms of diving deep into the essence of what parkour is and what it's about and educating people on the amount of care that goes into the practice and the discipline. It's not just a bunch of people jumping on stuff and being reckless. Everything is very carefully calculated. And that documentary just does a really good job of just, uh, it's just awesome. Believe in yourself, will do. Hang it in there and don't worry about too much. Thank you, Ralph Smart. And just little things like that. When I'm on social media, it enhances my social media experience and it makes it more positive and uplifting when I go about my days, rather than something that kind of takes me away from reality, it encourages me to keep on living in my reality and creating it to how I want it to be. Make sense? The human mind is so tangible. It's so easily influenced by everything that is around us. From our environment, our internal reality is a reflection of our external reality and vice versa. And so our surroundings dictate kind of how we act, our belief systems and all that stuff. And so I'm really picky with what I surround myself with. I surround myself with the people that I want to become, the people that inspire me to become more of myself. Not the people that I want to become, but the people that push me to become more of me. And just these little conscious environmental changes has shifted my life and impacted my life extremely deeply. I'm always surrounded by constant inspiration and constant drive to keep being myself, constant drive to keep creating cool stuff. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is basically my portfolio for my life. Nearly all of my artistic creations are on my Instagram feed. I have over, I have almost 2000 Instagram posts and that's a lot, but each post is something of an artistic creation. It's something that has meant a lot to me. I don't just post pictures of food. I post pictures of my training. I post pictures of my dancing. I post pictures of my artwork. I post some of my vlog stuff. And when I look through this, it's like, I am reflecting on my whole entire life and my development as a human being through my art forms and through my passions. I guess I've organically kind of found my way into utilizing social media as a spiritual tool to grow and progress. And with that intention, it is so. Not just my Instagram, but also my Snapchats. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, I do a lot of talks on there as well where I'm just being myself. And Snapchat is kind of very exclusive content. If you follow me on Snapchat, you're kind of special. <laughs> but through my YouTube videos, through my Instagram posts, through my Snapchats, like I've studied myself so deeply and so intensely. And that's how I've learned so much about myself because I've been able to view myself from a different perspective outside of these eyes. I've been able to see myself from an outside perspective to separate myself from the person in the camera and say, that person is not a bad person or this person is pretty cool. And to say those things to yourself, about yourself, is very 
is a very interesting experience and empowering experience if you learn to love yourself. I've been able to break down my articulation, the way my speech pattern, the way that I express my thoughts, the way I express my emotions and, and my feelings. The way I express me, I've been able to watch it, observe it, break it down, and truly decide whether or not is that who I want to be? Is that who I am? Or is this a, is this belief system coming from someone else? And it's really powerful to do that for yourself, in my opinion. And it's also scary. Vlogging is a scary thing to do for a lot of people because one of the scariest things to do is to look at yourself. Why is that so scary? And I do it every single day. <laughs> because every day I make the conscious choice to change my life. And so it is. I feel that anything, depending on the intention behind why it's used, can be either beneficial or not beneficial to one's experience, relevant to their own highest excitement anyway. With social media, I have the intention to always be inspired, and so I am. With other people, sometimes they're not conscious behind their intentions of why they use social media, so they get lost in all the noise and they listen to everything but themselves. And it is one of the causes for why many people are lost. And it can also be seen from the perspective that it is one of the reasons that a lot of people have been able to find themselves as well. Because I've been able to utilize social media to be more of myself. My platform, Artist of Life, has been a place where people are remembering more of who they are too. So it's all in the intention behind what we do. It's not what we do, it's not what we say, it's the energy behind our actions. The energy and intention behind everything that we choose to experience. As I said in another video, intentions are what guide our manifestations. And so, do you know your intentions? Question of the day, do you know your intentions? Do you know your true intentions? And if you don't, dive deep. Probably could have chosen a better outfit to wear than just laying in my bed and talking about this topic, but who cares? <laughs> look, I'm wearing a t-shirt now. And look, my room's a little bit more cleaner. And I'm wearing a hat, so you don't have to look at my messy hair. Thank you guys for watching my morning bed rant. Love and light to all of you. Love and light to all of you. I need to get along with my day, visit my parents at Crazy Buffet, go train on some hoverboards, nay. Trying to rhyme, but I can't. Hey. <laughs> I laugh at myself a lot. You guys do that? You should. Because you know, life is funny, very funny. Also, I'd like to say about social media is that we have access to so much knowledge and wisdom and information, yet not a lot of us know how to use it. And I think it's because we just don't know our intentions. Once again, back to the intention thing. What is your intention the moment you turn on your phone and go onto social media? My intention every single time I go on my phone or look online for something is to find something that will inspire me, to find something that will change my life. And so that is the experience that I manifest for myself. I feel that if all of us realize the amount of power that we have, especially now with technology, we'd be unstoppable creatively, business-wise, um, just in whatever we want to manifest. We have access to everything. <laughs> you wanna learn how to flip? Go and look up a tutorial on YouTube. You wanna learn how to dance? Go look up a tutorial on YouTube. You wanna learn how to be spiritually enlightened? Go look up a tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> and so there are no excuses as to the amount of things that we can accomplish in this life. It is up to us to choose to utilize everything that is available to us now to create our reality to how we want to live it. That's my perspective anyway. <laughs>